Hello, so today I'm going to quickly show you how to have a character or any kind of object that's 2D follow the mouse position. And it's a really quick script, so I'll put that put it together with you now. So I've got my character here, which is called a wobble, and attached to that wobble I have all I need is this script here, which is called face mouse, because it's going to face the mouse. If I open it up, you'll see it's empty with an update function, but it's really quick, so I will show you how to do that. So first off, we want to try and keep the update function tidy, remember? So I will put the name of my function in here that I want to run and do the facing actions. So I'm going to call it face mouse, like so. Oh, sorry, lowercase. Now I'm obviously complaining because I haven't typed the function in yet, but I'm getting to that, don't worry. So face mouse function. And inside here, so the first thing I want to do, when we click play, we want this guy to look at where my mouse is. So the first thing, we need to get the mouse's position. So the first thing we'll do, or I'll do is I go vector, and I call it mouse position, equals input dot mouse position. So this will now give me the mouse position in screen space though. So if I do mouse position, let's convert it from screen space to world space. So we can actually then create a direction vector for this guy to look at because he's in the world. He's not in screen space, so he needs a world location. So here we can do camera dot main. Now this will just go to your main camera, which is nice and handy screen to world point and I've got my script right here which I've already written and mouse position now it doesn't really matter that this is then defined twice because unless you need to use this it doesn't matter I'm just changing it to something that's usable so next thing I'll do is I'm going to create my vector I'm going to call it a vector 2 because I'm into it's a 2d game and I call this direction. And this will be a new vector 2. It doesn't exist yet. So pretty much I've got my guy here. He's already got his own transform and world space location. So I've already got that. And because the script is attached to this guy, I've already got his space, like transform. So now I've got my mouse position, which let's say is here on this frame. So the direction, I need to create the vector which will be along this line here. So nice and simple, I can do, so I've got my vector two here, direction, and if I do mouse position dot x minus transform dot position dot x, now what this means is I'm taking away uh, this location here from this one, and that'll give me a direction going upwards. If I was to do it the other way around, and say this, take away this, I'd get the other direction. But I don't want that because I want this direction so the guy's facing towards my camera point. So that's my X. I can go ahead and duplicate that for Y. Doesn't really matter that I'm not doing Z in this case. Y. Close that off. Cool. And then last but not least, transform dot up. You've got these handy you know, keywords here you can use. So transformed to up, which in this case, because it's a 2D game, so I'm using transformed to up because, you know, which direction of this character here do I want to be facing the mouse? And it's the up direction here, right between his eyes. So transformed to up now equals direction. So I'm saying point my guy, my wobble, in the direction vector. And that will, if I save this, and click play. This is where it errors. Oh no, it's doing good. Click play. Yay! And there we go. It follows the mouse. Now you'll see this in a hell of a lot of 2D games where you have, you know, the WSAD to move the character, and maybe he'll have a gun or a pickaxe or something. And he will follow the mouse. You can click. Now this is for my wobble game, but I'm just doing it in my spare time. 
Awesome. I hope that helped. And if you need the final script, I'll leave that open in case you want to click pause. It's pretty small. It's nice. <laughs>